Hey guys, what's going on? Drax here, back again. Gonna be playing some more Slay the Spire. Uh, we're gonna do some more of the Ironclad. Now, I've been playing this off-camera quite a bit, uh, and having some decent luck. I, I can't say that I'm entirely uh, getting good at it, but I feel like I am getting a little bit better. Hello again. Choose. So we can ob obtain a card, obtain three random potion, lose all our gold, and obtain a rare random relic, or lose your starting relic and obtain a random boss relic. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of our gold and obtain a rare relic. And we got the Tori. Whenever you receive five or less unblocked attack damage, reduce it to one. Ooh, that sounds pretty good. All right, so which path are we gonna pick? Kinda wanna go up this way. Hit that, maybe cycle this way. I, I kind of figured that I like to hit a lot of question marks. I, I'm a fan of the question marks because they seem to really boost your deck up and, and have some good stuff with it. So that uh, that is kind of like my, my kind of plan nowadays is to go for those question marks. Plus there's some combat with them if, you know, need be. All right, so this, oh, I didn't block it, but It'll reduce it to one. Oh, wait. Whenever you would receive five or less. Oh, five or less. Okay. Yeah. See, I read that wrong. I read that wrong, but we've already boosted ourselves back up. So I'm not too worried about that. I'm going to go for the flex and let's hit our first question mark. A strange blue humanoid with a golden helm approaches you with a huge smile. Hello, friend. I am Cleric. Are you interested in my services? The creature shouts loudly. Um, we don't have any gold, so we basically have to leave. You don't trust this Cleric, and you leave. All right. Now we get to face a couple of little louses. A couple of little louses. So I'm going to block, hit you, hit and hit you. Basically, I'm going to let their shields fall off because they no longer have that buff. And uh, then they're good to go. So some strength. You're going to hit me for one, which will heal through as long as I don't take another attack. And then let's flex. Then let's bash. And then good to go. We're done. Yes. All right. Uh, let's take a weak potion and we can look at a new deck. Uh, so I've got three new cards here and these are ones I unlocked um, in the last time that I played off camera. Got wild strike, deal 12 damage, shuffle a wound into your draw pile. Okay. Uh, evolve, shuffle two wounds into your draw pile. Whenever you draw a wound, wound draw a card. Meh. Uh, and intimidate, apply one week to all enemies. Exhaust. I think I'm going to go for the Wild Strike. And we'll see how that goes. We'll hit our another question mark here. You come across an inconspicuous petal of a shiny gold idol. So basically, we're going to trigger a trap. We're going to take our golden idol. The enemies are going to drop 25% more gold. Uh, we can outrun. We can take 16 damage. Or we could lose 4 max HP. I'm going to go for the smash. Take the 16 damage. And hopefully, we'll heal through it. All right, so we got a slaver. All right, um, let's go ahead. And with this slaver, I'm going to flex. I'm going to hit you for 14, 8, and 8. It's not bad. Now, I am going to take 7 damage. But, you know, we, we should be able to heal through a good portion of that damage. Let's bash, strike, Oh, I can't strike again. Oh, you weakened me. Yeah, see, I moved a little too fast on that one. And that, that seems to be my problem from time to time, is moving a little little too quickly with, uh, with things. But, you know, it's all right. So let's flex. Let's do our wild strike into that guy. And we are good. All right. Uh, we get another weak potion, and we get to add another card to our deck. Uh, deal eight damage every time this card is played. Increase its damage by four for this combat. Ooh. Yeah, let's take a rampage. All right, so we can either rest or smith. I'm going to go ahead and smith. Um, rampage. Increase it by eight for this combat. Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's let's upgrade that rampage because that, that could get really strong really fast. 
Um, think I'm going to skip the elite. You know what? No, let's go for the elite. Oh, gosh. These guys are probably one of the worst elites you can go for, but he's going to block that. And then we're just going to kind of work through this. Uh, I'm going to just apply some weak to these guys. Oh, I don't want to apply weak to him because he'll just negate it. So that would be a waste of a potion. Six. Oh, that's a lot of damage. It's a lot of damage to take. All right, so let's... Let's go ahead and flex. So 10 damage plus 14 damage. That's 24 damage. We can take this one out. And then we can go ahead and defend a little bit of the damage that we're about to take. So 16 damage minus 5 was 11. Okay. We basically just have a couple of strikes. Deal six damage. I'm going to slowly try and whittle one of these guys down, but... All right. And, yeah, five or less attack, so... Five or less attack is kind of... I don't know. I mean, that's not really a lot. Um, but, you know, what are you going to do? So I have 18 damage. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to block a good portion of that. Because we're not going to be able to kill it in that round so we got to do what we can do all right so now we have 16 damage right, let's flex 10 damage 28 damage 18 damage 14 damage let's do that and then oh, i think i screwed that up Yeah, I definitely screwed that up. Ooh, we are getting really low on the health. Really, really, really low on the health. So we're going to be down to three. This is not a great way to start off this uh, this round here, but what you going to do, right? Kind of just have to play as you're going to play. Okay, two more wounds. Got a lot of wounds in our deck. As stated there... All right, we got to throw the weak potion at him because I won't survive the next attack. But I will be able to kill it next turn. Uh, and then, yeah, I should be able to flex. Eight damage, one damage. There we go. All right. So we got uh, Oma, Oma Mori. Negate the next two curses you obtain. Some swift potion, some gold and a card. So we get Immolate, exhaust one card. If the card was a status or a curse, deal 10 damage to all enemies. Sword Boomerang, deal 3 damage to 3 random enemies or deal 7 damage. Um, I think I'm going to do Immolate because we are dealing with a lot of different you know, fights that uh, cause us that kind of damage. So we're going to Rampage right off the bat. Strike, and then... Oh. I don't have anything I can do. It's 13 damage. Wow, we uh, we did not do good this round. Yeah, we did not do good this round at all. Let's go ahead and... Uh, let's go ahead and start over. And we'll do... Uh, we'll do... We'll start another ironclad run here. Hello again. He's not going to give me anything this way uh, because I did die right off the bat. I think I am going to go right up the middle there. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Let's go right up the middle in that side there. A couple of louses. The louses are nothing. Nothing, I say. Nothing. Um, If I hit you, can I actually kill you right off the bat? I can't. Perfect. Now, what are you going to do? You're going to spit web, which is going to cut my attack. All right. So now I can only deal 12 damage to you. So I'm going to go ahead and block two. And then next turn, I'll come and mess you up. Next turn, I will come and mess you up. 
All right, so we get a bash. I can do six damage and apply a vulnerable and then kill you with that. Very good. Heal up for six. We get a strength potion and whenever you lose HP from the card, gain one strength. Uh, at the end of your turn, gain three block. Uh, I'm going to do the Metallicize. Metallicize, I feel like, is really, really strong. Especially if you get it on the first draw. I feel like it makes it even stronger there. But, you know, it's it's one of those that if you can get that and then get the one that has the block that doesn't expire, um, they're just really, really strong to uh, kind of get going together. But So we have 13. There we go. Block all of his shots. And so we can bash. Okay, I'm gonna vulnerable you. And then I think I'm gonna block a portion. Or I think I'm gonna block all of your attacks. So let's do that. Rake. And he's still vulnerable, so we can still get some good hits in. But I'll go ahead and block your attack again. Playing a little more conservative this time. I don't know. I go back and forth on whether or not I like to play a little more on the conservative side or more on the strong side. It's it's tough because you never know exactly uh, what you're going to be thrown up against. So we're only going to block eight out of the 12. So we'll take four damage, but we can heal up with that of our burning blood trinket or relic, I guess it's called. Uh, but yeah, I can actually kill you right there. And we're back up to full health. We get a swift potion. Um, gain five block, deal five damage. If an enemy attempts to attack, gain three strength. Spot weakness. Ooh, that one actually sounds pretty good. I think I'm going to take that and then the gold. And I did say I was going to go up the middle. And I think I am going to stick to that. I wouldn't have enough gold to buy a relic anyway right now. Uh, before you lies an elaborate shrine to the Forgotten Spirit. Uh, upgrade a card if we can pray. Uh, four strength on that. Four block on that. I think I'm going to take the upgraded bash. I think that'll be pretty good. And then we'll move to our next question mark. An elaborate Forgotten Spirit. So we get to transform a card. I'm going to transform one of my strikes to a Burning Pact. Exhaust one card. Yeah, I don't know how good that is. All right, so now we get to face a little acid slime and a spike slime. Draw two cards. It's a let's exhaust a defend here. Ten damage. Basically, can only just do ten damage, and we'll we'll take that little guy out right off the bat there. Okay, we're gonna gain less block. Metallicize. If an enemy intends to attack, gain three strength. Oh. Oh, that's not like a, an, an innate ability like the metallicize, or I guess a power. That's just a skill. That was dumb. I was not paying attention to that. I should have really paid attention to that. Whoops. All right, so let's bash you. And I can't do 16, so I can gain three block. I at least block enough out of you to be two. And then I should be able to kill you on the next turn. Um, you're not going to attack. Well, let's go ahead and exhaust another block. Then we get two more strikes. So strike, strike. Very good. And we're back up to full, 11 gold, and I'm taking Anger. I always take Anger. I, I love Anger. Anger is one of those really, really good cards. So we will upgrade Anger. There we are. Proceed, and now we're going to be fighting an elite. Ooh, this guy summons um, little gremlins that come with him. So we're going to bash and then strike. Oh, I should have done my strength potion right off the bat, but... Hopefully we can get through him without having to worry about it. So he's going to do 14 damage. Uh, we're going to do that. And then I'm going to exhaust one of these right here. We're going to get two more strikes. But he's about to do 16 damage. So I'm kind of thinking that I should block some of it. 
So we'll block half. Whenever you play a skill, he gains two strength. Oh, man. That's actually pretty rough. Uh, let me go ahead and drink my strength potion. Let's do that. That and that. And we should... Yeah, I'm, I'm just... I'm going to not block any attack except for what he's doing. I just... I don't want to play any skills to make him stronger. That's a skill. That's a skill. That's a skill. Okay. 21. So I can do 16. It's going to do 24 damage. Yeah, let's go ahead and hit him. Dead. Dead, 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 dead. Ice cream. Energy is now conserved between turns. Oh, that's cool. I haven't had that one yet. Uh, deal five damage if the enemy is vulnerable. Gain an energy and draw one card. Um, I think I'm going to take Searing Blow. That card can be upgraded any number of times, so that could get really, really strong. And then we've got this guy right here. All right, I'm going to do the spot weakness. He does intend to attack, so we're going to gain three strength. And then hit you with anger. And there we go. Okay. Now, do I lose my strength? No, I didn't. Good. Good, 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 good. All right, let's go ahead and get rid of one of our defends. And put out our metallicize. No, I wouldn't. Have, I wouldn't have been able to protect that anyway. I wouldn't have been able to. Um, I didn't have lethal that turn, so I don't have to worry about that. Fifteen damage from searing blow. Let's do it. Boom, dead. All right. So we get forty-five gold and a flex. Yes, I like flex. Flex is good. It gives you um, a good number of strength. Gain three hundred gold. Dang. All right, so we should probably... If we I don't see a shop coming up for us, but I was going to say, if we do run into a shop, we should prioritize that. We enter a corridor of hypno, hypnotizing colored mushrooms. Due to your lack of specializations in mycology, you're unable to identify the specimens. You want to escape but feel compelled to eat a mushroom. So we can anger the mushroom, or we can eat, heal 20 HP, and get a curse. I'm going to take the curse... Uh, but I don't think it'll be that bad. I mean, the curse is, uh, if transformed or removed, you lose three max HP. Ooh. Well, not bad. Let's go for another question mark. You come across a shining idol. So we get a gold statue. We're going to trigger the trap. And I'm going to take another injury. Just like so. Oh, bunch of little guys this time. All right, so we can do 12 damage. So I'm gonna take out the one in the back. He's dead. And then I'm gonna take out this one in the front. Now they are gonna do 13 damage to us, but what you gonna do? I can't believe we got 300 gold. Yeah, we need to focus a shop like real soon because that could be good. Uh, spot weakness. We can gain strength. But I don't have enough. Let's um, let's do that. And then we can do six damage. Actually, let me see what, I, what else I can get. Let's exhaust that. Here we go. Flex. Eight damage. And he's dead. Very good. Very, very good. Now, we will take eight more damage, but that should, shouldn't should be too bad. Come on. Okay, so we got our Anger. We got our Metallicize. Let's do six damage to you, and then we'll do six damage to you again. Killing you! And then we'll block all the damage that he's about to throw at us. Uh, it's going to weaken us once again. Man, those weakens are a pain in the butt. They're a real pain in the butt. All right, so let's flex. That's eight damage, eight damage. Basically, I just have eight damage across the board. So I can kill these guys. There we go. 
Yield up to 55. We get a dexterity, some gold, and armaments. Upgrade a card in your hand for the rest of combat. Cost one less for each time you lose combat. I'm going to go for blood for blood. Cost one less energy for each time you lose HP in combat. Yeah, that, that could actually be pretty good. And then we'll go for the campfire. Uh, I'm going to smith. I'm actually going to go for that as well. Is this going to deal 18 damage? No. Strength. Let's upgrade that Searing Blow. Um, just two, two cost to deal 16 damage. I mean, I think that's pretty good. All right, the battle starts. We got a Slayer and a, our Slaver and a Louse. Um, let's block some of this. Gain some strength and strike. Now this one will only have three, three attack next or three damage, three health next turn. All right, here we go. Um, let's metallicize. Let's flex. That's gonna do a good bit to you, but I should hit you pretty good. All right, so that's two. 19 damage, 13 damage, and two vulnerable. Let's do that. Exhaust one card, draw two cards. Uh, let's just strike, and then I should be able to take him out next turn. We took a lot of damage, but I should be able to heal up a good portion of that uh, at the next campfire. Six. There we go. Very good. Um, yeah, let's go for the heavy blade. I think we're getting our card cost a little high, but I, uh, I think we'll be okay. Let's see if we can do a little bit better on this one. I hate the Guardians. I really do. Not my favorite. Um, let's go ahead and Searing Blow and Strike going to put up a shield next turn, I think. Destroy, destroy, destroy. All right, so that's a lot of damage. I got to do eight damage to him, um, and I can do 12, 18. Yeah, that should be enough to interrupt his attack. There we go. We got a mode shift. Very good. Very good indeed. We gotta do some of that energy saving through turns. I need to really do that. All right, let's get our strength. Uh, let's metallicize and let's defend. Get up to eight, we'll only take one damage. It's the kind of damage you wanna take is just one. Okay, now we'll have a small weakness so we can gain some more strength. And then we can flex. 18 damage, 14 damage. It's not bad. That was not bad at all. And then, uh, yeah, end our turn. So we'll take 16 damage, or uh, 13 damage. Okay, we gotta do 40 damage to break him again. So let's. Let's actually block this turn. And let's exhaust a card. We'll just kind of go through. I probably should have used my dexterity. I probably would have been a little bit smarter. Blood for blood. So we can do 22 damage. 33 damage. Holy cow. 18 damage. Okay. That'll be good. And then I'm going to end the turn and I'm going to let the two energy go to the next round so we have five energy now so we can make a strong strong play 22 damage blood from the 22 damage strike strike S draw three cards I think I'm gonna drink my dexterity bonus and only let him hit me, f not let him hit me at all, really. 
That was a strong turn. That was a very strong turn. Okay. So let's... Let's go ahead and exhaust a block. 32 damage. Yeah, perfect. Boom. Dead. There we go. 96 gold. And we get to add a new card. Gain 30 block, exhaust, brutality. I think I'm going to skip these. I'm not, uh, I'm not entirely happy with them. So calling bell, attempt three curses and three relics. Gain energy at the start of each turn. Whenever you open a chest, obtain a curse. Um, starts combat with two wounds in your draw pile. I think I'm going to take the Mark of Pain. I think that's not terrible. So we're going to go ahead and wrap up the video here. Uh, if you guys want to see more, please keep watching. Hit that like button, comment down below, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.